on today's episode of the RiderFlex podcast. The biggest turnoff for me with regards to social media and your profile. Here's a tip around that. I look at people on LinkedIn and Facebook and Twitter and Instagram all day long because we're a recruiting firm. So we're always doing homework on people or trying to find people or research people or hunt down people. And that's what companies pay us to do. Find great candidates along with your resume that you put on places like indeed uh, and so forth or monster.com or whatever. Along with that, we're also finding you on social media. Yes. Companies look you up on social media <laughs> and so do recruiters. Should they make hiring decisions based on what you put on your personal social media? Probably not. Is it fair? Probably not, but it happens. They're looking for potential red flags in your style or personality or, or whatever. Things like hate speech or, um, you know, anything uh, uh, that might be controversial or racist or prejudiced or whatever, um, you know, because that kind of stuff can scare people away from you as a candidate. Anyway, my biggest turnoffs, the biggest turnoff for me, uh, the most common turnoff for me, I think, is negative energy. Negative energy. Be careful about what kind of energy you're portraying with your social media. What do I mean by that? If you only attack people or disagree with people, or you only comment when you're trying to uh, debate against something that, that, that somebody put out, like a post or whatever, if the only time you're active is when you go online and somebody said, the sky is blue and here's why I love the fact that the sky is blue and you go online and say, no, it's not, it's green. Like, what's wrong with you? Don't you know it's green? Like, you know, those type of people, right? You know, the type of posts I'm talking about where they just, it's almost like they wait for somebody to post something so that they can attack or disagree with it. That, that's what I would call negative energy if that's all you do, I guess from time to time or occasionally on a big topic, if you want to disagree or debate like that, I guess that's fine. But if that's all you do, if it's just constant negative attacking, negative, negative, Nancy, whatever, if that's all you do, it's, it's that's a red flag for me as a recruiter, because I'm, I'm always thinking to myself, Ooh, is that that type of person I want to put in front of my client? Ask yourself, how often do you go on social media and encourage people or help people or contribute valuable information that might be helpful and productive for others? What are you doing to give back, so to speak, in a positive way that might help somebody rather than tear people down? I look for that often when I'm scanning people's social media. I thought I would share that with you. I think some folks don't realize they're coming across that way. Um, and so check your comments, check how often you post. If all you do is wait for somebody to post something you disagree with, and that's when you comment, that's probably not a good idea. <laughs> and there is your Rider Flex tip of the day. Oh.